Okay. Everything is locked. I don't know how yours is coming on. Sweet. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And you found that mic. I could not get it to turn off. Oh, I was looking at that. <laughs> Yeah, the light doesn't come up. on. Yeah, mine the light doesn't, doesn't work up. like mine does. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and so we are glad to be with you this Saturday, and we are taking your calls live at 737-1200. And we're also live on Facebook and Instagram, so you can always message us there if you have a question. And so we are talking about today about in-home projects that you can do while you're still there, and that you may want to see improving start mm -hmm. seeing some changes at your home but we've got a lot of them to talk about but a lot of you have questions about those so give us a call at 737-1200 we want to mention our remodeling safe tip of the week yes and, and we really do think that it's important that um, you be safe and that our team is safe when we're remodeling so one of the safe tips of the week is that we do daily text messaging every morning by 7 30 just so you know what to expect that way you know who's coming in too mm -hmm. and i was thinking that that really does apply because if you are remodeling and let's say it's a long project some you may get some creepy people not from us but that people come in and notice and it can be like a sign the and they can come in and try to take advantage of the situation. And so because we tell you who's coming to your home at what time they should be there, you know that this person that may be saying, oh, I'm here to finish up the job is not that person because we've given you, this is who should be here. And you you know right away, oh, no, you're trying to take advantage of this. That's right. In fact, we have actually told our homeowners, hey, someone's, someone's coming in to, we don't know who this is. We've actually stopped entry of people mm -hmm. coming into the home that they didn't know, and then they said, "No, we know them. Uh, you can let them in." Yeah, they're our friends or whatever. We're like, yeah. "Okay, we need, you know, we're." Because we get introduced to the clients, and they don't. We want to take care of each other. They want to make sure, and mm -hmm. that's why we we also don't leave garages open so people can come by and steal something. Yep. But um, you know, when it comes to knowing who's in your home, that's a safe thing. Yep. And we've had clients tell us that that, that has happened and they've been able to stop people. Um, Elaine said that. Mm -hmm. So that is a, it's a real safety for them to know exactly who's going to be there and they can take care of their house. And they also will help you bring in your groceries. <laughs> <laughs> if anything's heavy, oh, Elaine sure. said that too, that they helped them all the time. Yep. Yeah. They don't want to see we you struggling. Say, <laughs> By the way, I got a hello from Dirk the other day. My brother said, Dirk said hello. So Dirk, oh, if you're nice. listening, Elaine. I just want to say hi to y'all too. Yeah. And we appreciate you. Anniversary's coming up soon. Yep. And so uh, <clears throat> one of the things we're talking about today is the types of projects you can do while at home, while you're getting used to the new normal. We've got some specialized uh, shows coming up on she sheds mm -hmm. and on home gyms. Yes. And so, but we just want to mention those as kind of the start of this show, that those are a couple of the things that a lot of people are thinking about they'd like to have in their home. And that is a, maybe a special room out back for him or her or both. Kind of get away from it. <laughs> a little get away. Yeah. Of course, outdoor living is extremely popular right now and wanting to improve that so that you can have that extension of your living area. Mm -hmm. And of that course, makes a huge difference. And of course, gymnasiums, indoor gyms, mm -hmm. yoga rooms, study rooms, these are some of the some of the projects that you may be thinking, you know what, that would really be cool. Maybe repurposing. So we're talking mainly today about room conversions. The things you can convert in your home that or space you can use that you didn't think of before. <clears throat> so a little bedroom can be a nice office. Oh yeah. A little bedroom can be a nice gym too. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to, to planning for these types of rooms, they could even you, you be, need to do exactly that. You need to plan. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that little bedrooms, a lot of homes I've seen have those really small bedrooms that are for like nurseries or something. So those could also be used for like movie theater rooms. Yeah, if they're too little small, cozy. 
if they're too small, then you're going to have a smaller TV. But if you yeah. want the theater experience, you might be able to. I looked at one yesterday, in fact, and um, it was it was very possible. No, the day before yesterday, it was on Thursday. It, it was very possible to uh, take out a couple. I showed them that the room was really too small for the multi-layer theater room. Mm -hmm. And I said, but you have these two closets right next to it that we could take out. You don't make these. it bigger? Yeah. Uh, that's and a we could make that room bigger and give them the right distance. Because the, once you took out the closets, you could turn the seats the other way. And then you could have it, you could have it wide enough. So, so that's, don't, don't think that you don't have the room for any of these projects. For the room. Space. And I'm glad you mentioned that because that theater room is one that we've done shows on also. Mm -hmm. We've done done many theater rooms. And you know, when people are thinking, I'm not going to go to the movies anymore, but um, man, that's a cool room to have in your home as a theater room where y'all can have the popcorn and the hot dogs. And, and movies are expensive. Yeah, they are. <laughs> when you have a family but, and everything. But you know, we don't know how long that, that industry is going to survive after yeah. this. It's, it's, everything is changing. And so, movies are getting released now on Netflix. And like you know that this is, this is only going to increase. Yeah, so why not have that awesome experience? Because Star Wars is not Star Wars unless it's in a big screen. <laughs> yeah, or Born Identity is not Born Identity. <laughs> <laughs> or, or my favorite, one of my, that is one of my favorites, but also the, the Bond movie is going to come out hopefully soon. Yeah, and that what if it gets released at to home? You're gonna want that experience of seeing him. Yeah, that's right. I on definitely your want full that. Full screen. Mm -hmm. So You're I gotta go make upstairs, sure. huh? I'm gonna go upstairs and watch that. Yeah. James Bond. Th those are my favorite movies. The new James Bond movies. I like the Daniel ones Craig with Tom is Cruise. Those are huh? the ones with Tom Cruise. The oh, Impossible. Yeah, Mission I like Impossible. Those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's a she's a. I'm a Tom Cruise fan. Tom Cruise fan. Yeah. yeah. And I'm a Jam. I'm a. Uh, yeah, but you Daniel acted Craig. out Tom Cruise after that. <laughs> Movie, remember oh, hanging in yeah, there? That was a fake. <laughs> that Whatever. Was, I mean, it was cool. I like the scenes. Hilarious. I like some of the scenes. We've got some video of that, don't we? Yeah, of you jumping in an elevator and hanging on the door. Oh my goodness, I cannot. <laughs> a glass, because it just gave me that feeling. I was, it was going up, and it looked like a, it looked like a Mission Impossible scene. So I started <laughs> climbing the walls of the elevator. I mean. But yeah, you can do all this in, a, in your own home. You can do that. It'd probably be better to do it in your home than a public elevator. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but that was funny. If y'all want, if you ask me, I'll send you a copy of me acting like Tom uh, Cruise in like Mission Impossible. Like a lame Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah, everybody ultimate. was laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of comments on that one. Oh yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah. Who was it that said? Lisa. No. no, Mike and Amber. Amber said that, um, tell, tell Tom Cruise that this and that. Yeah. She kept calling me that afterwards, yeah, afterwards. sarcastically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Yeah, yeah, that was. But a theater room is a great option. And, we can, and we can build you one. Yeah. And, uh, and again, you may already have the space, but don't think that you can't have some of these cool features in your home um, you really can. You just, need to, you just need a consultation. That's where I come out and we look at it. We show you what's available. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always are amazing people that we're thinking of ideas that they didn't think about before. And it, they, but you can see that the wheels start turning when we, when we start looking at these projects. So theater room is a great room conversion. And again, you may have the space. It may not have to actually give up a room. You might need to convert some space and uh, share that space even is another cool thing you can do. So I want to talk about office conversions and what some of the typical ones we've seen. Of course, there's a lot of variations on this, but I want to mention my friends at Ford & Bernie. Uh, you need to get the, the red carpet treatment. They have a concierge service at Ford & Bernie they want to tell you about. Ask for Peyton Severino. Peyton is just as cute as can be, and um, you just, you really, really should ask them for that service. If you're one of, if you want to talk trucks, they can talk trucks. Mm -hmm. If you want service, they've got it. They have a concierge service. Call them at 210-920-3023, or go to FordofBernie.com and make sure you mention you heard them on KM Builders because they want to know that you got, that y'all are listening. FordofBernie.com. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.
When you're stressed, you, you just always do that. Fur fur burning. Fur burning. Fur contact fur burning. I don't know why this thing is not working. Anymore. Mine isn't either. In the right ear. Yeah, so I was going to mess studio. with it. Do you have any idea why only one of the speakers in each of our headphones would be on? It is weird. No. It's actually happening on both jacks. Mm -hmm. Both of our headphones? Ready? I'm going to twist it around. Is it helping at all? Huh? Is it helping at all? I'm twisting it. No. Nah. It's weird. I was like, am I going deaf? I even popped my ear drum. <laughs> just to try. So if you can plug it in, uh, if you like jiggle it, does it get like real snappy? No. Just I just both did it. Them. Yeah. Really, it's both, yeah. Of both of them. Yeah. Both, both jacks. <laughs> And so that's why we know it's not one. I thought it was maybe acting up. Yeah, well, I thought maybe it was a short or that's so. Yeah, weird. no, it's both of ours, and we were just recording over in a different studio, and it wasn't it wasn't our headphones. Be some something in here that's yeah, yeah. that's okay. turned off. Yeah, yeah. Stereo or yeah, mono? Yeah, yeah, everything there is. is I'm gonna grab some water really quick. Is there a stereo or mono setting no. on the screen? Maybe <laughs> no. There is nothing, right? It's strange, it's isn't it? Yeah. But we know it's not your headphones, and it, you nope. know, it's not as short because then it would be, one would be it would be it coming in and out. Yeah, and it wouldn't be both at the same yeah. time. Well, we just had them at the other studio. Right. Well, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to put so a work order in for it. Yeah. You know, we could say something like how what they were saying in the diamond strap if your vacation have to be had to be postponed you know you can make your home feel like a resort or something like that you can say that okay it's your idea it's a good one <laughs> you can turn it into a closet those rooms room conversions into a closet. It's a good one too. I'm only thinking of office closet. What else? And then um, the seals turned a bedroom into a master bathroom. Like they used that to make their bedroom or their bathroom huge. Who did that? The seals. Oh yeah. That extra bedroom. Right. Game room. Game room. Jeez. Especially on the COVID theme, that'd be really good. Uh -huh. Let's keep it on that, that thing of what people want now right that they didn't have before. Okay, welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling <laughs> and Design Show. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm having trouble hearing myself here. So, 
We are glad to be back. You can call us at 737-1200. We are talking about anything remodeling, but particularly today we are talking about room conversions because so many things you'd like to have and maybe you're having to change your lifestyle. We want to be able to help you realize that everything you need is right there in your home. It just needs to be modified a little bit. And that's what we do at KM Builders. Mm -hmm. We have a 40 person staff with 36 years of continuous in business. Even though I did it part-time for about seven years when I was at USIA, and I know some of you are listening that I used to work with. And, and, and they've become your clients, too. Yeah, a lot of them <laughs> did. Uh, and so we, we built a really sustainable and consistent process over the years. And I give a lot of credit to USA because they're so process-oriented over there. Mm-hmm. And um, Victor Schlett was a real process guy. I mean, Detailed. I loved working for him for that little while. <laughs> but uh, if you look, would like something that can help you with your processes and keeping everything better, window tint, window film is what I'd recommend to maintain what you have. Your closets, if you have a window in it, you don't want clothes fading. If you got windows in your living room, you don't want your your floors changing color. Your couches. Your couches, your furniture, your cabinets. So window film with a UV protection is the way to go. It can also save you a lot of energy without having to replace your windows. Talk to Eric at expel.com. Go to 210-430-7712. They even have a safety protection film that keeps people from being able to break in. That's 210-430-7712. Talk to Eric. And you had a client testimonial? Yes. It was, we just got this review on Facebook last week, and it's from Nikki, and it says, Lewis, Chad, and Keith have done two projects on my home. Everything was explained very clearly at each step of the way. There were no surprises or extra charges at the end, and the job was completed on time. The finished project in both instances was far and above my expectations, which were very high to begin with. <laughs> I highly recommend KM Builders. Yeah, she actually stopped me and told me how much further we went than what she had thought. I said, really? I said, Nikki, I said, we can't just paint part of it. You'll only see it. And, and you know, <laughs> and she says, and then the texture and the, and the painting that they did just to fix a roof leak, Aww. you know, it was just incredible. She said how far we went with it. So she is a very appreciative client. What a great person to work for. Yeah. So we're talking about room conversions and, um, I want to mention the one that's probably the most common room conversion that we've seen, and that is that formal dining area, or some people have two little living rooms, formal living areas, oh, yeah. and they convert those into offices. Yeah, and I know office so conversion smart. is probably the number one thing people are wanting right now during this time. Yeah. And some of the things we do is you may have a little open area, and we put in a couple of doors. Now, you probably, if you have that, you've already thought of that that you could put a couple of doors, but those doors can be beautiful. They can have glass in them. They can have a glass above the doors. If you have that arch, like a lot of your homes do, where you um, you don't have to have arch doors, you can do it for a lot less and keep the door square, and then put a little arched window above it to let that glass in. Or in some That's cases, okay. some cases people will be okay with actually having it open just for actually airflow through there, mm -hmm. and you can do that as well. But the, if you really want the privacy, you put that glass up there, and that is a really nice conversion. Of course, some of the doors can have like frosted um, glass. Semi-transparent. So, yeah, you can really close off if you're a, not a type of person. <laughs> yeah, so you know, you may want blinds on there, you may want to open them, you may want to have, like Morgan said, uh, maybe a rain glass, maybe an obscure or semi-obscure glass that you can't see, but you get good light passing through. Mm -hmm. It's really nice when you can have light coming from a hallway into your office or light coming from the office into a hallway. Yep. And uh, if you close it off with solid doors, they can be beautiful too, but you've got to be careful about making that hallway or that entryway look too dark. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of details in making these walls. Sometimes people don't have the wall or sometimes they want to open up walls and we got to make sure it's not structural or if it is what we're going to do to compensate for that. And I know all of you have probably heard, well, you can't do this because it's a structural wall. Well, that's not true. Almost in any case, you can take out a structural wall. 
It's just a matter of how hard will it be, what will it cost, and that's what we do for you. We find out what will that cost be. you don't need to be. be limited. No. No. Exactly. I mean, and a lot of people just don't realize that they have the room or the space if they, if they were to convert it. A lot of times it's looking at what's in the next room, though, that they realize that that room is not being used for all the space that that room has been given. And so you take a little space out of it. It could be that you have a closet in the next room and that closet is not really even needed for that room. For example, if it was a little dining area, do you really need a closet in a dining area? You can take that and convert that and flip it into the office. In the room that was on the other side? Yeah. Yeah. Or get rid of it completely and make that, that new, close off that closet wall and now you've got a bigger room, a bigger, an actual bigger office. Because some of these rooms are too small to do what people want in them, but when you gain the space, uh, I mean, sometimes it means buffing out the wall a little bit on the front, or maybe just the windows and having a place to put the desk in, uh, changing out maybe even built in, uh, built out windows that you don't even have to build a foundation for. Mm -hmm. So, you know, have you ever thought about getting room in a space in a room by building it out without having to build a new foundation? That actually is possible. That's crazy. Yeah. Sometimes the overhangs can support the little walls that are going to build your windows out and bring a little boxed out uh, or... Uh, like a bay window? Like a bay area. Yes, that was the word oh. I was looking for. And you can do that sometimes without even building in a foundation. And it's not considered a room addition, but it gives you the effective space by maybe putting a desk there or a bench or something like that. And yeah. that is a fraction of the cost of building out a true room addition. I've never really thought about that. Mm -hmm. That so, adds space to your room, oh, yeah. technically. Well, you know, even if it's just the feel mm -hmm. of a bigger room, like in our bedroom. Yes. You know, that, that window, that window. box out makes it makes it feel so much bigger in there than mm -hmm. if that window were right up against the house. Mm -hmm. And so those are some of the enhancements you can do to rooms to make them feel a lot more comfortable, mm -hmm. to bring in more light. And sometimes just pushing that window out brings more light in, too. And so I didn't, when I thought about that, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, Catch more. And you mentioned a good room conversion. Closets. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, yes. Some... Turn that clo that extra room into a nice master closet. That's oh, right. Man. Yeah. So, sometimes people have maybe two or even three bedrooms in a row. Mm -hmm. And I know we did it for, for Dave and Gloria across the street. Oh, yeah. That's we, we took the middle bedroom between the master and the other guest bedroom and converted that into a master closet. Mm -hmm. And that turned that effectively into a two bedroom. And then we also added on into uh, an office off of the bedroom. So some people oh, like an nice. office off of the master suite with a little bit of separation, like maybe a couple of doors. Mm -hmm. And they can be right there close. And, you know, and, and for health reasons, that can be very important too, to be right there off of the, if you're a caregiver or something. Mm -hmm. You may you want to run your business, but be real close by, but you still need some privacy. Yep. And in their case, we did both. We did that little room office addition, and then we did the conversion of the in-between room mm -hmm. into a beautiful master closet. And they couldn't be happier. Oh yeah. But having, when you come from a, having just this tiny closet in a master suite and getting this gorgeous big space, oh, it enhances your life. So oh, much. Definitely. I know mom loves her walk-in closet. Oh, huge, yeah. Huge, huge walk-in closet. <laughs> she sometimes sits in there, looks at her clothes, sits on the yep. bench, and thinks about what, I don't know, what she's planning the next five times she's going with her. Well, she house. used to plan for her whole work week. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's what she was doing up there. <laughs> All right. So y'all can, can just think about those, and we're going to come up with some more ideas for y'all to think about room conversions that you may not have thought of or just kind of scratched your head on. Yeah. But if you want your truck converted to something more durable or more useful, go to South Texas Outfitters. Jay and KJ, they both both there. Jay's the owner. KJ's a great guy at SouthTexasOutfitters.com. Where do you see the movable toolbox, custom toolbox that I had made and the custom bed cover that, that goes into it? There's going to be a video coming out, but it's take my just word so on much. it. <laughs> It's so much. There's like so much going on with that. Oh, I know. Truck bed cover toolbox. <laughs> yeah. And call them at 210-349-7319, 349-7319, or SouthTexasOutfitters.com, and we'll be right back. I've got to turn my headphones down.
yelling in my ears. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe Ooh. mine could be turned up all the way. Let's see if mine's turned up all the way. We want them at the same level. I can't handle it. Turn it. No, you need to turn them up all the way, then we're on the same. Was mine turned down? Yeah, way down. Okay, so now turn yours up all the I way, did. and then we'll be the same. <sighs> no wonder. Maybe that's the problem. Mine was way more than yours. What'd you say? Mine was way higher than yours. And I'm like, Scotty, you're trying to go backwards. That's so loud. some of the other types. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it will. Yeah. You'll care. What are the things I've thought about when it's that? Around me. Alright, I'm gonna figure this out if it kills me. Well, I think I did. It's okay. in both of mine now. Okay. It is? It's in both of yours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because, all right, okay, what about now? Do you hear both of yours? Are you sure, one? Morgan? It's in both now? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah right, and you're only getting one? Yeah, but hers was turned down too far. Okay. No, mine was up. It was up. turned up too loud, but now all of a sudden it's working. Mine's okay, yeah, this is all set up like normal. Yeah, well, like it should the be. The only thing is, I was hearing other noise. Hmm. You weren't, Dad? Mm -mm. I was hearing other. But we, we had a problem earlier this week with some other kind of audio bleeding through. Yeah. J just on the headphones. Yeah, that's what, that's what it was. Okay. Too. Yeah, yeah, we had that too. Yeah, maybe now that yours is louder, you'll hear it too. Because his was turned all the way down and he blared it on the. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh! <laughs> so loud. Uh, well, what do you do in the mornings? I'm one of the producers on the morning show with Tim and Charlie and oh, okay, and, uh, Cherry. How's everybody? Does the doing? other guy get? Who, uh, uh, Mike? No, there? Mike's coming in after me because we're running the president's oh. rally thing tonight, so he's coming in later to do that. Oh. Mm, so. Is that his name, Mike? Mike, Mike Bartlett. I, I'm sure that's probably the guy that's usually here. Yes, here. it is. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, yeah, he's not coming until four because he'll probably be until midnight or something. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boring. I know, right? Okay, so I have. Do you have your what you're going to talk about next? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was thinking you could turn it into a bar. Like a wine cellar, we did that. Twisters. Challenger disaster? Nope. They're going to show it right now. It exploded in midair and killed yeah, everyone. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Um. Watch. There it is. I was listening to. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. 
I was listening to Jessica Simpson's audio book or her book, um, and she talked about that. <laughs> I was just listening to it yesterday, and she said that all the schools had it on. And she was in like elementary school or something, and the teacher ran over there and turned it off, but you knew everybody died. Yeah, I was an adult then. I wasn't in school when that happened. She's only... It was an old way. Yeah. On the fewer size. Mm -hmm. She's like 38, so... Two. Third segment. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. That stands for Keith and Morgan. <laughs> we like to say that now, I guess. Uh -huh. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. And we are talking about. Um, room conversions, right, and different things that we can do, but since we're all spending so much more time in our house, we definitely want to be making sure that our house is as clean as possible. And we do that for our clients by hiring the maids. So you want to give them a call at 210-822-2526 or look them up at www.maids.com slash 211 and make sure you tell them that k and Builders sent you and you'll get some great specials that they have going on right now like 15% off all window and carpet cleaning services. And we're also talking about what's trending. And this is a little bit interesting, but you know, everybody's been doing two-toned kitchens. And so they can do like an accent wall of cabinets or something. Well, I've been seeing them taking it up a notch to do three-toned kitchens. So they'll do an accent island, and then they'll have maybe some white cabinets or then put like some nice tan natural oak cabinets or something. So three tones in the kitchen, especially in really large kitchens, it really creates some great depth and dimension. Maybe they'll do the bar in a third accent area or the coffee bar. So just something you should look it up and see if that could suit your next kitchen project. Well, it sounds busy, but it's not whenever it's done, done right. Keep the, the countertops all the same. That's what I noticed. That's you, how they kept it less You've got to have some common busy. elements, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we, in mom and dad's, we were doing two tones of cabinets. One is a blue, uh, bluish gray, steel gray, mm -hmm. along with the, the wood tones that we have in the house. And yep. The china cabinet is the, is a painted one versus mm -hmm. the wooden ones that we have, the wooden stained ones that we have, which are a, a birch, oh, a birch stain. So stains. such beautiful cabinets. Yeah. And the woodwork and the doors and the beams, right? Mm -hmm. And Morgan busy helping them get furniture. Oh my goodness! Yes, I think furniture got delivered yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go by and see that. Yeah. So, uh, so we're talking about what you can do with your rooms and converting them. Some of the ones we've talked about would, were super office, common office office conversions. Yeah. Gym. Out of, out of a wasted area. Gym, indoor gym. It's such a big thing now because people are not wanting to go out and. You can have a custom gym. Yeah, very safe in your home. And we're going to have a show coming up about um, the gyms and how you can do it and all the things. So all be the on the lookout. About, right? and yeah. Then, and then also we Coffee. talked about uh, game rooms. No. No, we didn't. We're going to talk about We talked about closets. <laughs> That's right. Closets. Closets for the converting spaces into closets. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're talking about converting the existing spaces, but you can always do the room addition thing. Mm -hmm. for any of these and many others. So let's talk just a minute about game rooms. Game rooms is a very common conversion. People want to make it a theater room or a game room. Mm -hmm. And theater rooms are just really cool and so are game rooms and sometimes you can do both. You can make a game room and a theater room if you have enough space. We did that. Yep. And I think it worked out great. What do you think? Oh yeah, it's perfect. It's a very long space and so it really it melds and meshes with each other really well. We can have a Spurs game going while playing pool. You can have, well, we have two sofas, 
and a recliner, mm -hmm. and then we have a little uh, bistro, bistro table. a bistro table there. We've done mo a lot of our uh, videos from there uh -huh. on Wednesdays. So yeah, in the one. winter. <laughs> and and so that's a that's a really cool room. And then of course the folks who are playing pool can watch the same thing because we have a ten foot wide screen. Exactly. <laughs> so so your screen should be part considered in the size of the room, and you don't want to overpower it. Mm -hmm. You don't want it. You don't want it to be too small either. But you can convert a room, and a lot of times that room may not feel big enough for a theater or a game room. But you can take out some closets usually in those in those bedrooms and make it the right size. Mm -hmm. So that's a great conversion. You mentioned another one. I mentioned a bunch of. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Them. So so game rooms. Uh, oh, wine cellar. Oh yeah, a wine cellar was another one that we've done. Yes. We've done so many. I mean, we honestly do forget some of the ones we've done, but. Those are really cool to have a wine room that you can uh, store all your wine in. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you've got enough room, not only not only can you store it, but you can sip it in there. Yes, wine but I feel it's cold. Because those tasting. wine cellars are really temperature controlled, That's right? right? That's and that right. was so much detail that goes into doing a wine cellar with the air double insulating. The foam insulation and so forth. Now you don't have to go that far. You may yeah. just want to store it neatly and be able to see it, and you may not be the one who has to have it so super controlled. Yeah, it just depends on what you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might want it a little cooler, put a separate air conditioning system in there, but it doesn't have to be so elaborate. But it can or you can really put cool. large refrigerators for right. the wine. So That's instead right. of making the whole room temperature controlled, you mm. can have the wine fridge. That's right. The and, it can and they make very large rooms with good glass. Full view, which we've done that on the electronic um, controls that can be adjusted and seen from the outside without opening them. Remember uh, the custom <laughs> wine gates that we made for that little room? That's right. With the grapes, cup. I mean, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so that was in Sonoma Ranch. Mm -hmm. That was that was a really beautiful, awesome project. Beautiful, awesome project. Mm -hmm. And so, so you can have a, a wine sitting area if you want. Mm -hmm. Into this completely, or just a portion of a room can be doing that. And again, we want to mention that combination rooms are very, very common. And uh, so, so uh, you mentioned a bar. Also, mm -hmm. a bar would be another great room to have or use as a portion of it, of a room. And again, when people aren't going out as much and they may be learning how to do what you you and Jared do, which is make a lot of cool cocktails and. Mm -hmm. And I like my beers, and I like my beer fridge, and I like the cold mugs, and yeah. and of course I like other drinks too. But um, it is just so cool to have all of that at your fingertips, and it saves a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know how expensive cocktails are because Mom buys them. <laughs> and, I mean, if you add up all the cocktails we've drank in one year and all the money you could save by doing them yourself, you could pay for a portion of a room. <laughs> at least, at least the payment on a room—that's yeah, for sure. I can that's find for that sure. Stuff. So think about that when you're thinking about what you're doing at home and how you're missing some of these features. Maybe you want to go to the movies, or you want to go to the gym, or you want to go to the bar, or yeah. And what is it that you miss about it? You know, do you want the low lighting in a bar? Do you like the plush? rich velvet seats and couches that you go into. Do you like the, the music? Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. like the, um, the lighting, like you said? Do you like the feel of sitting at a real bar with a cool top on it? Mm -hmm. Do you like a bartender? Do you want to hire him and bring him home? Well, that's a different story. <laughs> but, but I know there's one that mom liked on a cruise. She'd bring him home. <laughs> what was his name, Fernando? I think so. Yeah. That, that was, was a funny. joke for a long time. It yeah. wasn't a funny joke, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's getting too personal on this yeah, radio show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, whatever you build, you want to make sure that you don't share it with people you don't like or <laughs> cockroaches. Roaches. Yeah, <laughs> you knew where I was going yeah. with that. Oh, my goodness. Morgan's always thinking about no roaches in If I home. see one roach, I'm like, hey, we need to call Truly Nolan. <laughs> That's right, and we do. Yep. We call Truly Nolan, 210-651-1720, and they're the ones you should call. Valerie is a delight at trulynolan.com, N-O-L-E-N.com. And we'll be right back here at the Kate and Bill Group Remodeling and Design Show. Bonnie says, big walk-in closets are nice. I'm uh, 
Huh? Bonnie said, big walk-in closets are nice. I like the way you're starting to carry on more. <laughs> what do you say? He, he was talking to us. Oh. Say it again. Go ahead. Yes, that's correct. Thank you for remembering that one minute. If I know it's one minute, then I can look at the clock and I'll get off a little before it's over. And Bar Bonnie said, I would like a bartender at home. <laughs> Bonnie said she would like a bartender at home. <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for watching. What other ones? We gave you some kudos on our recording. Oh, yeah. And the Porfilios. I don't know if you saw the letter yet. That that are we sharing that on our on our uh, in-house on the in-house one, but it gets announced on Monday. Did you see? I sent it. No, I haven't okay. sent it yet. Just never read it yet. So we'll I sent it to the, the managers bank. first. We'll have two in the bank then. Mm -hmm. That'll be so good. We won't, we won't need to use them for a while, probably. Or we could come back and do two tomorrow next time and start, you know, doing like how we used to. Because it's, it's getting busy again. I think we'll just do one before the show. Okay. That's a lot easier than two. Two. Right? Yeah. And that way we always will always have an extra. Mm -hmm. What do you mean an extra? Since we did two this time. We'll have those in. I say we keep coming in until we want to take off. Okay. Not just take off because we want to take off. Take off when we plan something. Okay. We come in and do one before, and then we do the show. And then when we have something, we might have four or five or six built up. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. Except that I think <sighs> next I like week I do want to be weekend. off. I think next weekend I do want to be off because we'll have Greta and I don't want to leave Jared oh, with okay. Greta and Scout. Fine. She's good. overwhelming sometimes. And we'll have one in the bank, but then yeah. we'll come in that next week and do, do mm -hmm. two. Yeah. Well, then at least we'll have two in the bank again, and then we'll probably do three. Mm -hmm. Have three in the bank. Yeah. I wanted to show you the biogram video. Do it again. Oh, my stars. Can you imagine the snow? I can land. Oh, it's so comfortable. I love my yard now. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show, and thanks to Dave for doing a great job. And we are talking about room conversions. We've had a quite a um, versatile number of room conversions that we've done at KM Builders. And if you'd like to talk to us about converting your room or something else you want to do in your home while you're sitting at home looking at what you don't like or what you would like to have, or what you're missing from the things you used to do and you can't do them anymore, we can help you with that at 680-5626 or look us up at kmbuilders.com and we do it all. 
We are a four, we are a forty staff person uh, company, <laughs> forty person staff <laughs> company with over with thirty six years in business, and we have over five hundred years combined experience, almost six hundred years combined experience. Mm -hmm. And so we we've got the designers, we've got the in house construction teams, and together it makes for a really wonderful experience. And so. Did we have a uh, sponsor we were going to talk about right now? Uh -huh. A video that just came out? Yeah, that and we were just watching on the we break. We were just watching me jump on the lawn. Oh it's my so goodness. soft. I'm in love with my <laughs> lawn, and you, you will be too if you call Joe Caccino at Vile Green. He has uh, done a wonderful job with it. He makes it so easy for you to have that luxurious lawn, and you'll see the proof in my video. Mm -hmm. At VileGreenSA.com is how you reach him. 210-421-9522, BioGreenSA.com. And again, check out that video. It's, uh, where should they go to check that out? Excuse me. Um, it's all on our website in the Out and About videos, and it's also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. It's our latest video. So yeah, just go to our new website and check on videos, because mm -hmm. that's a separate tab, right? Yes, and then learn more and then videos. Learn more under learn more, uh -huh. then go to the videos. Okay. Yeah. So, but check that out. I encourage That's you to funny. check that out. It's kind of funny because I'm so in love with my lawn. I hug it. I hug my lawn. <laughs> he can just lay on it. Yeah. Well, buddy lays on it all the time. It looks so good to lay on. That I remember I used to do that a lot. Why? Because it just felt so good and cool. You know, in a hot day, you lay on the lawn after you exercise or something. I remember when I used to go run uh, when I was a kid. I would go and then I'd just lay down on the grass. And, of course, back then, you didn't have the allergies and so forth. I was just, like, oh, my goodness, my itched. skin would just um, no, itch. But, you know, when the lawn is healthy, it doesn't itch. Mm, it's so know. green and there's so much moisture in it, I think it changes the way it feels. So so if you want to lay on your lawn, call Bill. At Biogreen, <laughs> But yeah. you may not want to lay on it, but you may want to look at it. And and just like the other things in your in your home, I mean, you, you, you may want a change of scenery. We've talked about converting a room into a gym. So many of you are wanting to do the gym at home. So many of you are wanting to do a game room at home. Or maybe a video room for your kids to play their games in because yeah. they're getting bored and they can't do the things they did. Wouldn't that be a nice treat for them to have a true video station where you could control it and you could also see them in glass doors so that you can see what's going on. Um, or we even like a playroom if you have little kids and you're right. having to work from home but you need a space where they can go in, close the door, you can put glass doors so that you're still visible but you can still be working, they can get a little bit louder than they would have normally. That's right. Um, so that would be a nice thing for Of course, the, that. The, the very common office conversion is a, such a great room conversion. Mm -hmm. And then we have the uh, built-in walk-in closets that you may want for storage. Oh. And for that little, that, uh, or you know, well, like you said earlier, we've had folks take out a room and make it a closet, or we've had rooms come take out a room and make it a, a larger master suite. Exactly. So and, uh, whatever you're looking at. Uh, what other rooms did we mention real quick? Wine cellar. Wine cellar and bars, right? Mm -hmm. So all of these types of conversions can be done. And theater room. Theater room, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one we didn't mention would be like a karaoke studio. Oh, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. that so would you be want to fun. entertain with your family and, and have more interesting evenings? Or that's a good way to do it. a music room that you can heavily insulate, soundproof. That's right. Proof. We've done those too. Yep. Insulation rooms that you can have your man caves. Mm -hmm. You can have a cigar room if you want it, oh, yeah. you know, if you want wine room for tasting you can create that ambiance if you just want the the rustic um, lodge look you can do that too so put up your big old hunting uh, that's right heads. trophy room Tro that's yeah. right we're doing a trophy room here real soon we're oh designing, really we're designing a trophy room right now oh uh, cool and so that's cool too so we've got so many cool rooms we're doing a she shed um, so if you want to do outdoor rooms, we do those as well. They could be outdoor gyms, outdoor tiki bars, outdoor living areas. 
Um, they could be outdoor offices, hair salons. They can be so many different things out there, out, outdoors, because there's the sky's the limit on those. Mm -hmm. Any architecture you want, any cool thing you've seen, we can build that and put that out in your backyard as well. But today's show was about mainly converting rooms that you already have because it does save money. And, you know, we didn't talk about how you can use that space in a garage. But all those rooms we just talked about could be a garage conversion or maybe only part of your garage. And then you can still have storage in your garage. You can still keep your garage doors, too, and the HOAs sometimes uh, require that. Usually yeah, we've require done that. that. And so you, our next door neighbor, we did that. And your taxes don't go up on any of those rooms, by the way. Mm -hmm. And neither does your insurance. So if you need a, a mother-in-law suite, you can convert rooms into that. And with the garage door one, when you put the wall there, you can even put little windows. If your garage door has windows, you can mm -hmm. even be getting the natural light. That's right. From it. And you can put a door and exit a separate entrance into that so that nobody cares about that. Yeah. Except the person that lives there might want it. Mm -hmm. You might Which want you that. you did that in the beginning when we had our we office We were working back out there. of it, had a separate entrance, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to come into the home or you've got someone moving back into the house that wants independence or needs it, then you can do it that way also. Mm -hmm. So room, garages are a great room to convert. And even if it's temporary and you say, you know what, this isn't going to be forever, well then take the walls out or, or leave the flooring in there and have a really nice garage later. Mm -hmm. It's not that hard to convert back either. Yep. So if you have any questions, give us a call at 680-5626. We are KM Builders, and we would love to take care of 680-KM Co. Or look us up at kmbuilders.com. At KM Builders, we have designed the experience so you can experience the design. And check out our videos. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. And YouTube. Yeah, and we have a great newsletter. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up for on our website or visit friends at kmbuilders.com. You can sign up for our weekly tips. And give us a call or look us up so that I can come visit you myself and talk about your dream project. kmbuilders.com. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show.